So I ran over a dude. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up a great plane. A farmer? Yeah. And I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise uh, chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. <laughs> so he's a farmer. So this farmer. is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. Medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Okay. X pure. Talk to the doctor and purchase some medicine. Medicine. It's free. Good thing it's free because I don't have any money. Okay. I wonder how I get money. Lady, hey! Hey, lady, hey! Oh no. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might Ooh. just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Oh, ha, ha. Jeez. Never gonna let me live that down, is she? <sighs> you want to leave Armadillo? There are usually stagecoaches loading and unloading behind the freight station. Wow. Okay. You can now purchase and rent properties marked with a blue house. So it's there. Wait, is that a blue X up there? That's probably where the house is. Oh, there's a bug. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, okay. Um, did I get any money? No, no money. Okay. Well, there's new items. Oh, really? Well, I don't have any money. So maybe if I talk to this. He'll give me some money. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, you. Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> what, you, you getting keep with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. <laughs> Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. He seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and find me. Oh, party <laughs> fucking hard. 
What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here, doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. <laughs> all right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. It's a shootout. Let's go. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Ready to use my gun on something other than animals. The saloon's this way. Is that a puppy? That's a dog. Oh, that's so cute. Hello, Who are we puppy. Looking for? Bunch of two bit hoodlums. Led by this villain called Walt. <laughs> damn road agent. Prey on the stage is coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Let's go! Yeah. 